Hello children. I hope you all are doing well. In this video, we'll be learning how to round the numbers to the nearest thousands and ten thousand. But before we move to that, let me just ask you a few questions. So here we have a number line, and we have two numbers, one thousand and two thousand. Now there is a number which comes exactly in the middle of one thousand. And two thousand. Can you think, children, which number will be here? Yes, it will be one thousand five hundred. So the number that comes exactly in the middle of thousand and two thousand is one thousand five hundred. Let me just change these numbers now. Now the numbers are five thousand and six thousand. Now, can you think, children, which number will be exactly in the middle of it? Yes, it will be five thousand five hundred. So you can even see if you add five hundred to this five thousand, you will get five thousand five hundred. And similarly, if you add five hundred to this number, you will get six thousand. So the difference between these two numbers and the difference between these two numbers is exactly the same. So that is why this number is exactly in the middle. Now. Let me change these numbers. So now the numbers that we have are ten thousand and twenty thousand. So which is the number that comes exactly in the middle of these two numbers? It is fifteen thousand. So you can see, children, the difference between fifteen thousand and ten thousand is five thousand. If we add five thousand to this number, we'll get fifteen thousand. And similarly, if we add five thousand to this number, we'll get twenty thousand. So the difference between twenty thousand and fifteen thousand is the same as the difference between fifteen thousand and ten thousand. So that is why fifteen thousand is exactly in the middle of these two numbers. Let me change these numbers now. Now the numbers that we have are two lakh sixty-seven thousand and two lakh. Sixty-eight thousand. Now, what will be the number exactly in the middle of these two numbers? It will be two lakh sixty-seven thousand five hundred. So this number will be exactly in the middle of these two numbers. So now this middle number will help us a lot when we are rounding off the numbers. Let us see how. So now the first question that we have to do is. Finding the nearest thousands of this number. To find nearest thousands of this number, let us firstly underline the thousands place in this number, which is eight. How many thousands are there in this number? It is eight thousands. So the first number that we we'll write here is eight thousand, and Because we are finding nearest thousands, we we'll write the next thousands over here. After writing the next thousand here, we we'll think about the number which comes exactly in the middle of these two numbers, and it is eight thousand five hundred. Now, what you have to do is you have to think where will this number lie here. Or here, it is eight thousand one hundred sixty-nine. You can easily see, children, that this number is less than this number, so it must lie over here. So the nearest thousands of this number will be eight thousands. Why? Because this number you can see will lie somewhere here. And eight thousand will be the nearest thousands. Let us take another example to understand nearest thousands. Now we have to find nearest thousands of forty-six lakh thirteen thousand seven hundred sixty-four. Again, what we'll do is we'll first underline the digit at thousands place. So it is this. Now, how many thousands are there in this number? It is 
3000. So the first number that we will write over here is 46,13,000. And the next thousand that we'll have after this number is 46,14,000. So now we have both these numbers. We just have to think about the number which will be exactly in the middle now. And it will be 14,13,500. Now, what you have to think children is, where will this number lie? Will this be here or will this be here? This number is 46,13,764 which is more than this number. So it will lie somewhere here. So that is why this number will be rounded to this number which means it is rounded up. So this is the answer that we will write here. Now I will just ask you one more question children. What will happen if we are supposed to find nearest thousands of this number? Yes. The number which is exactly in the middle is always rounded up. So it will be rounded to this number and the numbers which are all over here will be rounded to this number. Now let us see the nearest ten thousands of a number. So this time we have to find nearest ten thousands. Again, the first thing that we'll do is to underline the 10,000th place in this number. Which is the 10,000th place? It is this. This 2. This 2 is at 10,000th place. So, how many 10,000s are there in this number? There are 2 10,000s, which is 20,000. So the first number that we write over here is 7,20,000. This is the first number that we have. Now because we are doing the nearest 10,000, we will take a jump of 10,000. What will be the next 10,000 number? We can add 10,000 to it to find that number. It will be 7 lakh. 30,000 and I have written this number here. Now the next step you know children that we have to think a number which comes exactly in the middle of these two numbers. It is we can say 20,000. We can ignore this 7 lakh for a while. It is 20,000. It is 30,000. So exactly in the middle would be 25,000. So we can write down 7 lakh 25,000. Now what do we have to do children? The next step is we have to think where will this number lie? Over the left side or the right side? So if you see this number it is 7,25,639. It will be where? It will be near this number because this will lie somewhere here. So it is rounded up which means that the answer would be 7,30,000. We can write it down here. So nearest 10,000s of 7,25,639 is 7,30,000. Now let us take one more example for 10,000. So now we have to find nearest thousand of a big number. I have written 8 crore 17 lakh 72 thousand 100. It's a pretty big number now. Let us see how to find nearest 10 thousands of this number. So as we did in the previous ones, we'll start by underlining the 10 thousand place which is this 7. Now the next step would be to think how many ten thousands are there in this number. There are seven ten thousand or I can say seventy thousand. 
So I'll write the first number 8 crore 17 lakh 70,000 because we are doing for nearest 10,000. So I just replaced all the digits after 10,000 to 0. So it is 8 crore 17 lakh 70,000. Now children can you think what do we do next? Yes, we have to write down the next 10,000 number over this side. So it is this number and it is 8 crore 17 lakh 80,000. The next thing that we have to think children is which number comes exactly in the middle. It is 70,000 and this is 80,000. The number which is exactly in the middle is 75,000. So we'll just write down 8 crore 17 lakh 75,000. Now you have to think children. This is the number over here. Will this number be on the left side of this number line or on the right hand side? It is 72,000. It will lie somewhere here. So which means that this will be rounded down to this number. So I'll just write down the number here. It is 8 crore 17 lakh 70,000. So this number is being rounded down to this number. Now, as we even did it for the previous number, if I ask you, what is the nearest 10,000 of this number? Will it be rounded up or rounded down? Yes, the number which is exactly in the middle, it is always rounded up. So the nearest 10,000 of this number is this. So children, I hope you have understood how to find the nearest thousands and ten thousands of the number. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and keep learning.